and good morning from Phoenix, Arizona, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and whatever time you're watching this. I'm Doug Schrift. I'm a physical therapist and senior fitness coach, and I help seniors become strong and stable, even if they've never exercised before. Welcome to my program. It is unbelievable, but today is April 30th, I think. Let me try to find my banner here. It is, yes, it is April 30th. Oh my goodness. And today we are going to do some, we're going to finish things up with some yoga. So Audrey's going to come in as soon as she feeds the dogs, she will come in and she's going to do a, some yoga stretches. Uh, Elective going, surgeries. Just yes. Going through all of our uh, peanut gallery hill, Carmel. Thanks mm -hmm. Judd from Malta. Oh my goodness. Malta. Diane, thank you. You're welcome, Diane. Wow. And Sonia from England. She's been here every day, Sonia. Yay, Sonia. <laughs> Marvin, good morning, Marvin. And Margaret. Margaret. Right. Margaret's part of our Elder Gym Academy. Elder Gym Academy. So she's in there every day, and I'm in there too every day. Every well, day. that's pretty good. So I told them uh, you're going to do some yoga today, right? I'm going to do yoga. So mm -hmm. Take them out with some yoga. Mm hmm. And, uh, uh, lucky just joined us. Lucky dog here. We'll have to get the lucky dog. He'll be mellow on he, the side. He can stay here. That's pretty good. Yeah, he's the mellow dog. I'm gonna shut the other door. For the okay. other dog. We, we do have a couple of dogs here and cats. The large oh. dog can be rather cumbersome. Yes. He's not a senior friendly dog, as you say. Not a senior friendly dog. No. Yeah. No, no. Large, <laughs> and he gets under your feet. So you turn, and he's right there. So you could easily fall. And he trips you. So small don't dog. don't get those kind of dogs if you're no, no. not stable. Don't get a small dog. <laughs> well, this is our last day. I it can't is. believe it. I know. Where did it's April go? I know. It's been so fun. It has been. Well, mostly you were mostly waking me. up early. Waking up early. <laughs> I'm not the best in the morning, but that's no. it. That's good. But it's today, good. The day's longer. Up, you woke up today. I did. So that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's been interesting because I usually exercise like after work. Mm -hmm. And I'll go to the gym, but the gym's been closed. So mm -hmm. uh, I did this April. So it, it, is, it is interesting waking up early and exercising. It's, it's actually, usually better. Yeah, pretty, I think it is better. It's, you have to go to bed earlier, though. That's the key. You do have to go to bed earlier, and you need more motivation. Right. You need a routine. And once you get into the routine, I think your body gets used to it. And it's, it is better, especially since the day gets on, you get tired, you eat something, here it gets to be 105 and oh, it's horrible. like you don't want to exercise after the work day so right. or you know whatever you plan for your retirement during the day <laughs> your activities right your, your routine is probably better they always say have a good uh, startup uh repetitive kind of keep with your routine it's good for you well yeah i, I heard it takes 22 weeks something like that or is it days i think it's weeks to get into the habit of doing something so Take some time, so probably right. six six months just to get things into your head. Right. But, um, exactly. Well, let's do some yoga okay, let's today. Let's do some yoga. So I'll have you go take your place there, and I'm going to switch sure the I'm cameras. Switch the and, cameras. Uh, I'm going to try to play a little yoga music too. So let me know if that's too loud in the peanut gallery there. Oh yeah, people will tell you. Oh, actually, I'm going to start standing. But here you can yeah, make I think sure I I'm can, in the screen. I can think you're in the screen. Am I in the screen? Oh, you look good there. In the screen. And uh, let me see if I can get some music going here. Hopefully, everybody can hear that little bit of music. Put that there. All right, let's. All go. right, we're ready to go. We're just going to start standing. We're just going to take a moment to kind of center ourselves. You can close your eyes. You can just look down toward the floor, but just take a moment to feel your feet on the floor. If you've got a chair in front of you, just feel that chair. Feel your body strong and tall. Take a couple of breaths. Just settle into where you are, getting ready. To open your body to some yoga, get some oxygen through your blood, helping keep your vital organs healthy.
Good. So open your eyes. Let's take a nice big stretch, reaching arms up. And down. <clears throat> Exhale. Let's go another time up. And this time, put your palms together at the top. And then bring them down to your heart center. And take a moment. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart. I don't know if you can see them behind my chair, but that's just a good reminder when we're standing. It's the most stable position. Just feel your support of your feet on the earth, the alignment of your head down through your neck and your spine, down to your hips. Your chest is slightly lifted in this position with your hands at heart center. You should be relaxed, able to breathe. Good. Take a little bow. And now let's go back up with our hands, touching at the top. Now this time, if you're comfortable not holding the chair, you can stay like this. We're going to tilt to the right side slightly, but if you need to, just reach for that chair. So on an inhale, we lift on the exhale, we reach or kind of tilt to the side. So this is what it looks like with both hands. You should feel a nice stretch up your left side here. Take two breaths. And good. Let's go to the other side. This is called crescent moon. Clock. Good stretches, just reaching, feeling the extension. Try not to tilt forward. Try to think of your body as just tilting so that your hips, your shoulders stay in alignment, just as far as you can go. One more breath. Good, and lift back up, good. Now we're gonna sit, continue our warm up. If we could have a clock going, that would be excellent, so I don't go too long. Let's do some seated cat-cows. So. Inhaling, kind of lifting up your chest. Shoulders back and down. And then exhaling, and then we round down. So hands on knees. Rounding down. Good. Sucking your belly button to the spine. Good. Inhale. Lifting slowly. Never want to move quickly, especially if it's early in the morning. Lift. And exhale. You can use your knees, your hands on your knees for a little leverage, kind of holding. As you suck your belly button to your spine, round your shoulders. Notice my elbows are pointing out. That gives me some extra stretch in the arms. One more time up. And exhale down. Good. Okay, now sitting back into the chair, settling in, knees shoulder width apart. I'm going to do some leg lifts. So first with your right leg, lift up. And let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Other side. Oop, that was my knee. 
You probably couldn't hear it, but I could. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And when you're lifting, just try to squeeze, squeeze your muscle, um, not super tight, but just use this quadricep muscle squeezing around your knee. And the lifting motion is you're using abdominals. Good. Now let's do the other side. Right leg up and let's do some foot circles. So first toward the center. Do 10 circles. Remembering to breathe and relax with your torso here. Good. Now let's change direction. This just gets our legs warmed up. And by lifting the leg, you're using your leg muscles. Good. Switch legs. Lifting to the center first. You can hear my ankle. Yeah, those joints like to make noise as you get older. <laughs> Other side switching. Remember, I'm lifted. It's tall here. I'm using this as a chance to check my posture. Be seated in a good position. Good. Let's just tap those legs out. Do some heel toe, like heel, just kind of reach forward, kind of. Let's do some gentle sit forward a little. Let's do some windshield wiper knees to the right. You can hold your chair for support. To the left, to the right. To the left, it kind of opens up your hips a little bit there too. Good. Last one. Good. Now let's do some hand circles. Let's get your hands in front of you. Hands circling to the center. Open, close, open. Close, just kind of a little funny looking hand stretch. Our hands do so much for us during the day. That's one of my surgeries I'm going to need. Carpal tunnel. Let's switch directions on my right wrist. I am right handed. Ah, pretend you're directing an orchestra. Good. Good. Shake them out. And let's just do a couple of arm circles. Reach your arms out and let's circle forward. Nice. <sighs> Remembering to just breathe. Feel all those little twinges, little stiffness in spots. Switch direction. Try to keep your shoulders down here, not scrunched up to your ears. Good. Just continuing to warm up. Feeling warmer for sure. Let's do some neck sides to side. So settling back into your chair. Hands on knees, lifting, but not, you know, just relaxed lifting. And, and now we're gonna tilt to the right side and just hold it for a couple of seconds. Inhale up, tilt the left side. Good. Ooh, I feel that on my neck. It's very crunchy in a couple of spots. To the right. Inhale and lift. Down to the left. Good. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, last time, and down. Good. Now let's do some shoulder shrugs. So forward, ears, back, down. Forward, ears, back, down. Inhale, ears, back, and exhale. Inhale, ears, back, and exhale. Opposite direction. Back, ears, and down. Back, ears, and down. Back. 
inhaling when you're up and then exhaling when you're down. Last one. Oh, this feels so good on my shoulders. Back, up, rolling, and down. Good. Shaking out. I'm warmed up. Hope you are too. We're going to do some seated twists now. <clears throat> so if you remember, we kind of give ourselves a little space, so scoot a little bit forward in your chair. Going to inhale, arms up. And we're going to be turning to the right. So as you exhale slowly, you can reach behind you for your chair, the back of your chair, and turn, exhale. Okay, gently, we're going gently here. Inhale, starting to be able to look at the sidewall, and you can slowly lower that hand to your knee. So this is where we're at now, and my spine is cracking. Another inhale here. And exhale. Notice how tight you are on this side. How does it feel? If it's painful or really difficult for you, just back off. Just turn as, as small a turn as you need to to just feel the gentle stretch, but nothing that hurts you. Another inhale here. Good. Exhale. Now we're going to turn slowly back to the front and do the other side. Okay. Inhale, arms up. Reaching for the back of the chair to the left side. Our feet are shoulder width apart, supporting us on the floor. But your bottom should be away from the back of the chair so you have some space. Inhale. Start to look at that side wall. Lower your arm down to your knee. And see how it feels on this side. Inhaling. And exhaling, feeling the twist on the other side. You might notice one side is tighter than the other. Maybe that's the side you sleep on. Maybe you have an old injury there. And <coughs> excuse me. Exhaling. I think I need some water, Mr. Doug. <coughs> Thank you. Pausing here. <clears throat> wrong, wrong pipe there. Okay. Last inhale and exhale. Good. Turning to the front. Ooh, okay. We are now going to stand and do another twist very similar to that. So standing behind the chair. Holding the chair for support. I'm going to inhale up. And exhale. So turning your torso, but your feet and your hips are staying forward. Here I am going to the right. If you can keep both hands up here, inhale and exhale a few times. That's great. If you feel like you need to reach for the chair for some support. Inhale, exhale. Good. One more time. Good. And then gradually turn to the center, releasing that other arm and inhaling up. And go to the left. Slowly turning, noticing to the the point you get to where it's like, ah, I can't go any further unless I force it. And we don't want to force anything. Reaching for the chair if you need it. Inhaling. And exhaling. Ah, feels good. Lifting, keeping your hips forward as much as you can. Now, if you need to make a little correction, I just noticed I might have been turning my hips too much. So I'm bringing them back forward. I just felt a couple cracks in my neck. Good. Last breath in and exhale. Last, bring it to the front. Now we're going to do a balance. 
I'm holding the chair for support. <clears throat> We're going to be lifting our left leg. I'm on the side of the chair here. So starting with a nice lift. So starting with a lift, feeling your hips kind of tucked under your spine, nice and tall, all the way up through the back of your neck and your head, feeling for your chair. Inhale once, exhale just to feel centered with your posture and then on the next inhale kind of get your toe ready your heel is off the floor I'm using my left foot here and I'm going to then inhale and if I can hold my knee for three breaths one two three Good. Let's try that a second time on this side. So then you just put, place it down. Good. Take a breath in between. Kind of get centered again. This is all about alignment and lifting from your chest so that when you, you, you're not going down to your knee, you're lifting your knee to you. You're using this chair for support. So on an inhale, begin to get your heel off the floor. Don't let your other hips sink sideways so keep lifted this is core strength here toe is just off the floor now and lifting holding one three breaths worth good and release good let's go to the other side boy i'm warming up must be because i live in arizona and it's probably 90 degrees already okay now we're doing our right leg. Lifting, take a moment to get centered. Inhale, lift that heel. Toe, 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 inhale. And one more breath. Good, and exhale down. And again on this side, take a moment to get centered. Good. And lift your heel off the ground, toe only, and inhale, lift that knee, standing tall, belly button to spine. One more breath in, and exhale. Good. Okay. So we are going to try a modified triangle pose here. So... The way we do this is we need our chair far enough away from us so we can have our feet wide. So get your feet wide enough so that you feel you can still feel stable, that they're not too wide. So just take a moment to feel what it feels like to be in a wide stance. Again, lifting core, belly button to spine. I'm going to reach our arms out. Have your chin tucked, your head should be above your neck, down your spine. Now we're going to take a moment and turn the foot that's closest to the chair toward the wall. And take your, your back heel, it should be slightly like 45 degree angle. So I don't know if you can see how I shifted my feet. And now... <clears throat> Your knees are not going to bend. They're going to stay straight, but we're going to tilt. So here we are. We're tilting. We're tilting, and we're reaching for that chair. Reaching for that chair. Yes, we've got the chair. Take a moment here. Breathe. Where's your upper hand? Let's bring that over our head, looking at the forward wall. Good. This is a modified triangle. And for those that feel like this is too much, just skip it. You can just do something that's a side-to-side -side stretch. Just wanted to put this one in. This is a little bit more advanced. But again, this is a nice, easy class, but it's a nice side stretch. If this chair part is too far to go down, just use the top of your chair. Okay? But the point is we have our, our feet wide in our uh, triangle pose position and we're just kind of reaching up good inhale 
Turn our toes forward. Let's take a breath up. And exhale. We're going to do that on the other side. Getting, finishing up our middle part, and then we'll be winding down. So now we need to reposition our chair, get our feet in that wider position. Okay. Again, if this is too much, you could just stand with your feet wide, okay? Modify as you need to. So we're going to inhale our arms up. I'm going to turn the foot that's near the chair so it's pointed to the wall. Turn the back foot so it's about 45 degrees. And this is, um, try to keep your hips pointed forward. And we're going to just lean forward. This time I'm just going to go to the top of the chair. There we go. Got the chair. Take a moment. We're going to take it slowly. Now you don't want to have your knees locked. Have your knees so that they're straight but you know you can have a slight bend if it feels more comfortable but i'm <clears throat> i'm open my chest is open i'm trying to have my hips tilt over directly to the side so my upper arm is now going to reach up now i noticed this left shoulder had an old injury so i can feel that stretch i'm i'm just going gentle and let's take a few breaths here modified triangle on the other side Good, okay, now taking it easy, we're gonna turn our feet back forward. Just hold that chair for support. Just gradually take your time to come up. That's a really good side stretch, it opens your hips. Okay, just take a moment, put your hands on your thighs, maybe shake your shoulders out. Maybe just, let's just kind of move our hips side to side. Ooh, that was good. All right. Now we're going to just do a couple of chest openers. <clears throat> so if you need your chair, you can grab it, but just bring your feet back in, shoulder width apart. We're going to reach our arms up, but back. So you can see not above my head, but just back. And so you can grab your chair here if you need it. But you're just looking up, breathing, chest open, two breaths. Good. Now gently bring your chin and head down. Let's do an opposite right here. And let's just roll our shoulders around, bend your knees. You can grab your chair for support, just kind of hang. Hang here. Ooh, it feels good. Whew. Good. Let's go one more time. Back up. I'm going to open that chest. Holding the chair for support if you need it. If not, both arms out, chest open, jaw relaxed. A couple more breaths here. Good. Reach for the chair if you need to. Slowly bring your head forward and let's just roll down. Rounding the shoulders, rolling down, grabbing the chair if you need to. Just kind of hanging. Good. Okay, let's come back up to neutral. And we're going to do a modified downward dog. So <clears throat> stand far enough away from your chair that you'll be able to reach it when you go down. You can always use the top part of your chair if you need it to be higher or something in between. If you have this is too high, but this is too low, maybe put a book or a pillow on here so that you don't have to go down as far. Okay, so feet shoulder width apart. Inhale, arms up, and then exhale, reaching forward, tilting slowly, reaching for the top of the chair, your pillow, or the chair itself. 
Three breaths here, feeling the stretch of the back. Good. So bend your knees slightly now to get up. Move your hands back. Reach for the higher part of the chair. Okay. Moving up slowly. Head comes last. That stretches your back, your back, your legs. Good. Good. Did some good work. You should be proud of yourself. We're going to start to cool down now. So let's just sit in our chair and let's just hang side to side first to the right side so scoot a little bit forward away from the back of the chair just hang oh that feels so good just the weight of your head you can hold the chair if you want or have your hand on your knee Just take a breath there. Good, good exhale and then now inhale up and switch to the other side. Inhale and then exhale, hang. Just hang down in that chair. The weight of gravity doing its work. Oh boy, I can feel that in my neck. Try not to lean forward, try to just be tilted at your hip, your torso tilted over your hip, just hanging that weight is giving a good stretch. One more breath. And inhale up. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's do some more shoulder curls to kind of keep those shoulders moving and loose, rolling forward and back. Wow. Now switch directions and exhale back up and forward. Last time. Good. Now shaking the hands out, let's do our crisscross. Bring your arm across you. It'll be your right arm across you. Hold it with your other arm and stretch. Good. Arm up, other arm over, hook it with your elbow and stretch. When you pull this in toward your chest, good stretch for your shoulders. You could open and close your hands, make sure those are nice and warmed and relaxed. Oh, good. Okay, we're going to just do a figure four, I call them. So take your left knee up hand on your knee and just lean forward as far as you can feel a little stretch inhale and exhale good good hip openers you feel a nice little stretch in your hip good other side up ah oh, one hip might be tighter than the other Resting that hand on your knee, the other one on your ankle. As you inhale, lift, and then stretch forward a little. Thanking your body for showing up, doing all it does for you every day. Giving it some good yoga time, some good breath. Good. All right, now let's just do a couple of windshield wipers. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Nice. Last time. Good. And scoot back in your chair. Get your feet shoulder width apart. Have your hands on your knees. Just kind of settle in. Notice how different your body feels from when we started. Take some breaths, just begin to settle in and relax, and we'll do our, our quiet ending. So eyes gaze downward or slightly closed. Feel as you breathe, how your breathing may have changed. Feel the blood moving to all those organs. Be 
grateful for your health, your body, your lungs, breathing oxygen every day, keeping your body doing what you want to do. Good. Gradually bring, the, bring your awareness back. Let's do a nice breath. Inhaling up. Palms together. Bring hands to heart center. Thank you for doing yoga with me today. Congratulations on completing a month of morning workouts. Stay with us, join us again for more at Elder Gym Academy. And with that, I say namaste. Thank you for joining me for yoga today. Have a wonderful day or evening. See you next time. All right. And we're back. Thanks, Anne. That was great. How was the timing? Perfect. Good. Thanks, everybody. Got a little, I'm glistening. See? Got a little bit of work. A little, work. little sweating there. A little huh? sweating there. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, let's see. So it was a great 30 days for me anyway. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm in shape. I'm in more shape yeah. now than I was when I started. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, definitely, if you want to do some uh, if you want to get on our email list, go to eldergym.com. Um, that's, you know, our website. And if you want to get more uh, notifications or anything of anything that's happening, or if we're going to do it, or if I do another uh, live stream program like this, yeah, uh, get on our email list. Yes. Feedback's at, been good. At eldergym.com. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. So I'm thinking of maybe doing this once a week. Uh, maybe not exercise, but bringing on some guests and stuff like that, because it's been kind of fun um, working with uh, the YouTube here and the Facebook and doing these. It's actually a simulcast. It's actually on Facebook and YouTube. Wow. So, Amazing. Uh, you can Technology. Go, uh, Think my, of this. Our Facebook is Elgin Senior Fitness. So that's our Facebook group. You could definitely join that over at uh, Facebook. And I'm in there uh, a couple of times a week also. There Great. You uh, well, great. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And, um, yeah, so de definitely head over to Elder Gym. Get on our email list, and you'll get more information on anything new that we do here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So Thanks if you for wanna, joining us. Yeah, and if you want to get uh, in shape again, just start at day one and work your way right through. You could probably do it once a month for a couple of months and not mm -hmm. get too bored because mm -hmm. I think I try to put something different in every day. So uh, that's good. A lot of variety. Uh, let's see. Let's check our uh, let's check our um, peanut gallery. Inspired Sonia. Tabby. She's good. Here's inspired. the ones that are on screen. Yeah. Good luck reader oh, surgery. Good. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> well, I'll keep you posted. And Judith, Judith, Judith is in our academy already. Thanks, Judith. And Yuhut from Israel. I know that one. And Layla, thank you. And there's Sonia. Yes. Great. Thanks, Inspired. Sonia. Inspired. That's she, what we like. Yes, she's Inspired. been here. She's been here every day. Nice. And Lynn, thank you. And Vivian, thanks to you. Gare, thanks, Audrey. Good. All Ooh, right. Gare's been here every you. day, too. He's from Holland. Holland. That's amazing. Nice. And Saul Tender has been here every day. So excellent. Excellent job. Thanks a lot, guys. We're All gonna right. take off. And um, yeah, see you either in the academy or in Elder Gym. And uh, uh, definitely get on our email list uh, and then you will be informed. Be informed. Yes. About what's happening. It's always happening. good to know what's going on. That's true. Yeah. All right. All right. Take care. See everybody see later. See you next time. <laughs>